Nothing transforms your home like changing the colours of your walls. You don't have to be a designer to choose the right paint. All you need is a little planning and a little knowledge. The most important thing is to pick the colours that you like. It's your house, so select your favourite colours. If you're only painting your walls, consider choosing colours that will complement your furniture and the woodwork or the curtains. You may want to keep the colours similar between the rooms, which helps to maintain continuity and flow throughout the house. If you don't want to commit to adventurous colours, paint the walls in your house a neutral or lighter shade. Neutrals are shades of white, grey or brown. Then you can accent the rooms with bold coloured accessories and when you're ready for a change, you can mix and match the accessories throughout the house. Once you've chosen your colour scheme, it's always a good idea to test the colours in the room. One way to do that is to create a sample board of different colours. You can take the board and move it against different furniture pieces and the other features in the room to see how the colours blend. Once you're happy with the colour, paint a test area onto the wall. Take a look at your colour at different times of the day for about a week as the colour changes in different lighting. Bright colours in a room may not work well if you have a lot of direct sunlight in the room. In artificial light, even the type of light bulb you use can change the wall colour. Incandescent light bulbs give off a warmer, more orange glow, whereas sunlight and fluorescence give off a whiter light. The general rule is to paint the ceiling a lighter colour than the walls, which makes the room appear larger. Lighter colours generally make a room appear larger and dark colours on walls can visually scale down a room. That doesn't mean you should never use a dark colour on a wall because they can make a room feel warmer. Warm colours range from red to yellow. They convey strength and passion and they can really add an energetic mood to any room. These are the colours that you may consider using in your kitchen or a playroom. The cool colours range from green to violet and these colours convey a feeling of calmness and peacefulness. For example, a blue room makes everything appear bright and refreshing. A colour wheel can be used to see different colour schemes that designers may use when painting a room. A complementary colour scheme uses colours that are located opposite each other on the wheel. Complementary colours bring out the richness in each other. Now a tip when using complementary colours is for one of the colours to be softer than the other. This helps decrease the effect of the two colours in their primary forms. A related colour scheme involves colours that are located next to each other on the colour wheel. Related colours have a less contrasting effect on each other. A monochromatic colour scheme uses different tones and values of one colour. This scheme creates a very soft, pleasant look. Now let's have a look at different paint types. Water-based acrylic paints are most commonly used on walls rather than oil-based paints. Acrylic dries quicker and cleanup is with soap and water. One important note, do not paint acrylic paint over oil-based paints without properly preparing the surface of the wall. Water-based acrylics won't properly adhere to oil-based paint. Also consider the sheen of the paint. Sheen is the glossiness of the surface. There are a few degrees of sheen. Gloss is the shiniest and is the easiest to clean, which is why it's used on trim and in kitchens. The drawback is that it shows all the imperfections in the surface. A semi-gloss has less shine than gloss, but it still cleans and resists stains just as well. Satin has a moderate sheen and eggshell has a smooth low sheen and is very popular in living rooms, dining rooms and bedrooms. It can hide imperfections and resist stains to a certain degree. Flat is non-reflective and is widely used on ceilings and hides imperfections well. If you need any more help with the colours or types of paint you need, visit your local paint specialist and ask the paint specialists there for help.